How are you feeling on a scale of one to ten? Can I be less than one? There's nothing lower than one. There's zero. Your parents tell me you were born with a unique condition. I accidentally, I accidentally kill people. I'm sorry, I don't follow. When people see me, the, my face, they... <laughs> you accidentally assault people with your face. Let's pretend that what you're projecting is, in fact, real. Why are your parents still alive? I think they must have seen your face. Well, my mom says she knew something was wrong the day I was born. One more push. One more push, honey. You're so close. Yes. It's a boy. He's the most beautiful baby I've ever seen. We moved out of the city when I was two to some place more secluded. The fewer the people, the less accidents. It was a fresh start, a chance at a normal life. That was wishful thinking. Because I couldn't have felt any more different. I understand your desire to dwell in the past. What really brought you here today? I just want to be normal. Have you ever considered that your wrappings could simply be your mind's physical manifestation of depression? Oh my God. I, I tried to tell him. Damn it, Max. Look, we know all these heart attacks ain't his fault, but it just doesn't sit right that every time someone croaks in this town, we get a call and boom, there's your boy. Yeah, it's strange. It is weird. So strange. It just looks bad on the whole force that we keep letting him off with a warning. Folks are dying. And all we can say is, oh, well, you know, shit happens. No, we, we completely understand. We understand. So, uh... Did... Did, uh, Dr. Klingeman say anything helpful? No, Dad. He died. I'm sorry, our house is a freezer, Dan. The heater's still waiting for Paul to fix it. Uh, I don't mind a little cold, Mrs. Richardson. Yeah? Well, neither does Paul. Ooh, hello there, Alana Scovia. What is that, a new country? Alana Scovia is a type of babe, mm -hmm. and she's from the Ukraine. Ooh. Paul, didn't you have something to say? Your dad has something he wanted to say. Max. Your mother is worried that you spend too much... Wait a minute, excuse me, whoa. whoa. We, okay. We are worried you spend too much time at home. Yes, honey. I think Dan would agree that you're not gonna meet anyone your own age locked away in your room. Wait a sec. What if Max signed up with one of those dating services, you know, like, like Dan on the, uh, you know, on the cell phone? Oh, there's an idea. Paul? That's a great idea, because all the girls are gonna want to swipe right on this, huh? Look like a frickin' burn victim had sex with a serial killer, guys. Max, can you please not use graphic comparisons at the table? That's a rule? Yes, it is. Yes. It's a rule now. It is. It's a rule. What's with the brick? No. Come on. You said last time was the last time. That was a hammer. This is a brick. It's different. 
You need to see a therapist. I did. He's dead. This is your problem, man. You lock yourself up in here like a grandma, sewing all this. Is that bunny sucking his own dick? What? That's a carrot. He's eating a carrot. Looks like a dick, man. Jeez, just don't get it. You know how thirsty the girls are right now? Is there a drought? It's Valentine's Day, dude. Oh. It's the easiest day of the year to score a date. All the single ladies are on a survival mission to score a Facebook brag post, and you get to be the guy that makes it happen. <laughs> Come on. Hey. Yeah. Stop. Oh. It's a horrible monster. It's evil because it's different. It's strange. Oh. The foreign exchange program's looking for host families. That could be nice. Do you have a foreign friend? Mom, they're, they're foreign exchange students. They're not pets. They're foreign, and they want to come here. Okay. Mexico, get a magazine. Can I help you? Uh, I was just uh, oh, wanted to. This isn't gonna fix your problem. Okay. Sorry. What is that? A magazine. No, this is garbage. Take this. Take this. Look, we're exchange. I haven't, I haven't seen anyone play that game in a long time. Oh. Oh, well, I didn't catch 150 Pokemon to abandon them. 150? That, that's a lot. That's a lot of Pokemon. Um, I, I fell. You fell? On a brick. Ugh. I hate when that happens. Max Richardson? I can't. It's too cold to fold. Just call someone. Your father said he would fix the heater two weeks ago. No one should have to live in these conditions. That's not breakfast, that's sugar. Hi! Yes, I'm calling about the heater in my living room. It stopped working a week ago. Oh, thank you. That's perfect. It's 411 New Beginnings. Oh, yes, he's my son. Hello? Oh my god, he hung up on me. Dan. Hey. Hi. So, uh, I didn't break your nose or anything? No. I wish. I just have a hyperactive immune system. I'm practically deformed. Okay. Try not to describe yourself as being deformed tonight. What's tonight? Dan. I, I hate you. You said you wanted to meet girls. I got you a Valentine. No, no, that's not what I said. I said I, I can't. I can't meet girls. Well, now you can. Oh, my God. What? What's going on? Oh, my God. Dude, stop stressing. Oh, my God. It's going to be fine. You're going to kill it. Shit. Oh, you know what I mean. So, I'm, like, really feeling your cologne right now. <laughs> Once. Compliments to this guy. It's, it's just, it's just Arvin Hammer. Like the baking soda? Uh, you know, I don't normally set people up, but uh, I'm not gonna lie. I think you and Max would be pretty bomb together. 
Wait, what? Bonjour, lady and gentlemen. Happy Valentine's Day. Can I start any of you off with a cold beverage tonight? You know what? I got these two. Damn. Wait. What about one of our milkshakes? I can't have that. Milk? Calories. All right. Two diet sodas, extra ice. So, Erica, that's a really strong name. Um, is it, is it uh, Filipino? I'm Cuban. Oh, I, I forgot, I made you something. I hope this isn't weird. I, I don't really think it's that weird. You made me a napkin? No, it, it looks like a napkin kind of, yeah, but uh, it's actually a handkerchief, and if you if you cry, you can use it to wipe, or if you need to blow your nose, um, or all of the above, if, if they're happening at the same, same kind of time. It... Thanks. Look, um... I, I know you didn't you didn't have to come here tonight, but you, you seem really nice. And this is kind of like my first Valentine's Day thing like this. So thank you. I'm making a scene. You want me to make a scene? <laughs> Erica? What's hanging, sexy? Hold up. You're the kid that kills people with his pretty face? <laughs> oh, shit. You are? Uh, come on. Let me see. Craig. Two diets. And, uh, my manager is asking you to leave. Your manager can suck my sack. Totally. Uh, what the oh, hell, man? It's Sorry. fine, Nah, it's this fine. ain't cool. Okay, yeah, I'll get, I'll get someone. No! You did this. You clean it up. Craig. Uh, okay, but with... With what? Start with whatever this shit is. Here. Let me help you. Oh my god! Craig, stop it! Hey, I need you to go. I'm going. I'm going. I'm so sorry. We're gonna get this cleaned up for you. Uh, do, you, do you think I could... I could on a date some other time. Uh, I, I can't. I, I'm sorry. something what am i interrupting a dramatic leap off the bridge <laughs> bad things happen because of me and and they'd stop once i'm gone okay it's pretty dark yeah well my life is pretty dark it could be the sunglasses Jelly bean? But you only have the gross flavors. Mm. So I ate all the good ones and this is the shit I was left with. Thanks, I'm good. Huh. 
There, now if you jump, you jump in a river full of jelly beans. I, I had a dream once that, that I was swimming in a pool full of jelly beans. Doesn't seem like much of a drop. You should probably find a higher bridge. What? You want to die, right? Yeah. Well, then you should find a higher bridge. Wait, what? Wait, what? Are you, are you serious? Well, it's just physics. What did you want me to say? I don't, I don't know. Look, you're not going to jump. You're gonna die an old man, warm in your bed. Not here, not this night. You jump, I jump, remember? Did you just quote Titanic? Well, my ride's here. You're leaving? You're gonna end your life forever. What's a couple more hours with me? Let me see if she's taking visitors today. Thank you, Myrtle. Nice to see you, as always. What's with all the caps and exclamation marks? Oh, it's just a reminder of, like, how I like to live my life. Loud, vibrant, bold. Oh, OK. No, I'm, I'm here more than the staff, so it's just annoying that they keep making me sign in, so I'm annoying back. You know, when you said you were going to take me somewhere, I, I didn't really think you meant the retirement home. <laughs> well, I thought nothing would make you appreciate life more than being around a bunch of old people who were about to croak. Wait. Hello? Alex, you usually visit on Friday. Oh, it is Friday, Esther. Oh. One of the upsides to Alzheimer's, it's almost always the weekend. Hey, one of the many upsides. <laughs> By the way, I brought you a present. This is Matt's. Oh, what happened to your face? I should have some vitamin D ointment in my purse. He doesn't need ointment. Oh, take the ointment. Was it a burn? Max fell on a brick. A brick? And today he almost fell off of a bridge. <gasps> Christ, boy, are you drunk? No, he's depressed. Rosemary, this boy thinks he's depressed. Depressed? Yeah. Wait until your bladder stops. And they put you on this pill that they shove up your ass. And then it gives you rashes in places you didn't even know you had. Then we can talk about being depressed. Oh, my. Your face. Oh, good. You have ointment. I have written over 30 novels. I think I have an understanding of the process. You wrote novels? Write novels. I'm not dead yet. Romance novels. Dirty ones. Oh, like Danielle Steele? <laughs> My mom loves her. Yeah, well, I went to college with that bitch, and let me tell you, that ginger whore doesn't have one original thought in her brain. Her last name is Steele, for Christ's sake. She stole my shit. Tell them what you're writing now. I think it's fabulous. Well, it's my last novel, not so much a memoir. A personal walk with Alzheimer's, my descent into the disease. I feel at my age, all I have left is my mind. If I lose that, what else is there? Son of a bitch, here she goes. Not everyone has the ability to face the unknown with such courage, Esther. I told you before, I think your book's gonna change lives. I suppose. I mean, there really isn't anything like it. Except for maybe that one movie. What movie? Uh, you know, the one where the woman can't remember, and he comes every day. The Notebook? Yes. It's maybe a lot like that one. <laughs> You didn't, you didn't have to walk me all the way home. Oh, I just wanted to make sure your home wasn't the bridge. You're home. Cool. Yeah. Have a good night. Do you... <laughs> um, what, what are you doing tomorrow? 
tomorrow? Yeah. Oh. I can't. Okay. I'm sorry. No. It's... Um, I just, it's not you. Today was really fun. Um, I just, I wasn't really planning this. Yeah, okay. Have a good night. You lose. Did you at least get her last name? <laughs> Why would I ask for that? Dude, you always ask for the last name so you can creep her on social media. Ugh. Was she hot? I don't know. I'm not buying it. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> over this you know you could try retracing your steps try and bump into her again oh see a little bit of ass I told you You just missed your bus. Are you stalking me? What? No, 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 no. I'm... So what, what are you doing here? I was... I was... Maybe I'm stalking you. You didn't know I was going to be here. Really? Because I'm pretty sure I'm here and so are you. I think the fact that I can't see your confused face makes me want to screw with you more. You sure you don't want to hang with me again? Don't you have school? I'm, I'm, I'm homeschooled. That's still school. It's literally in the name. It's, it's, it's called in, in, independent study. Hey, if you're already skipping, why not just spend a couple more hours with me? Yes. Yes? Start walking before I start saying no. Okay. <laughs> Can I interest you two in a free RPG starter pack? How many goblins are in this game? Hundreds. And there's like goblin hordes and clans. And but there's only one wench. Eleanor the Savage, Queen of Man. What are those goblins doing to Eleanor the Savage? Well, they're, um, ravaging her dungeon. This is not enough. Excuse me? Hi, do you have any more in the bath? Jelly beans are supposed to feel like jelly, not like gravel. <laughs> My dream would have been much more comfortable. What was your dream? Um, a river full of jello. What flavor? Celery. That's, that's not a real thing. Um, it is 100% a real thing. Housewives in the 1960s used it to rebel against their husbands. Alex, I have to tell you something. I was born with a face, and... Oh, you were born with a face. <sighs> God. 
My face is lethally attractive. So when people see it, when they see my face, they... Die. <sighs> okay. Okay? I mean, not okay, but... Old news. You already knew? Besides, you're kind of a big hit at the hospital. Wait. What are you doing hanging around the hospital? I have a rare cardiovascular disease. What's wrong with your heart? Ah. Uh. I'm allergic to endorphins. Excitement causes inflammation, which causes my heart to grow. This monitors heart rate and heart size. So any emotion, good or bad, my body rejects. It's okay though, because they put me on this trial medication and I got really lucky because it works. So now my heart is basically on Weight Watchers. So you're fine? I mean, if you consider taking a pill every day and wearing a robotic bra fine, then yes. My heart is not currently a ticking time bomb. Have you ever thought about, if your life were a movie, what song they would use in the montage? Uh, no. Do, do most people think about that kind of stuff? Yes, everyone, except you. <laughs> This is for one of those moments where your life derails you. And your head and your heart can't keep up. Everything plays out like a blur. And all you hear is this. This movie theater hasn't gotten a new movie in five years, but this will make it feel like new. Is this wine? Yes, the vodka kind. It tastes like nail polish. That's how you know it's effective. How do you know what nail polish tastes like? Thanks. Ugh. I don't think I can finish this whole bottle. Don't you dare ruin this for me. I've wanted to do this for so long. Why? Because I could never do anything fun because I was always sick. Besides, I didn't really have any friends. You're my first friend. Would you want to play a drinking game? How? We've never seen this movie. Yes, it's like the any movie drinking game. The any movie drinking yes. game? Go. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, if you see a title card, drink. Go. Okay. <laughs> Next. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, if there's a flashback. Yes. Anytime an actor talks. Anytime this is from the producers of. Anytime someone wakes up. Go. Oh. Plants! Excessive armpit hair. Cheers. <laughs> It's really hot. Are you hot? No. I'm like boiling in here. <laughs> Why is it sticking in so <laughs> Can you feel your teeth? Yes. Are they there? Is this your first time drinking? <laughs> Buddy, mm. you need to drink this. Well, all of it? Yeah, all of it. Oh, I can't. I can't. Oh, drown. <laughs> hey, dude, why aren't we hanging out? This is stupid. Come over. Hi. Oh, shit. <coughs> um, you two just get back to whatever it is that you're doing. And Max? Yeah. You're my boy. Who is that? 
Dan. Dan. Who was that? Oh, this is the tiny light of death. Pray it never blinks. Max. Hmm. Oh. I want you to stitch me like one of your French girls. Okay, Rose. I can feel you staring at me. <laughs> you can't see if I'm staring at you. I can't see what you're doing. <laughs> Max, I... Oh, wow. A girl. Oh, God, please kill me. Hi. I'm Alex. Whoa, whoa. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a hugger. What? Since when? No, you're not. I'm a... I, I, I'm a shaker. Hi. I... Dad. Uh, oh, come on in. This is Yu Shen. She's from the exchange program. Yu Shen, welcome to your new home. Oh, Wang Lu Tsai Ren, Qian Lian Yu. You're so cute. Isn't she cute? Yes. Hey. She's a little jet lagged. Hey, minutes. You take two steps forward, and the next thing you know, you're face down in the shitter, wondering how the hell you got there. Hey, why is Rosemary sitting all by herself? She's waiting for her son to take her to get pie for her birthday. She says he comes every year, but I've never seen it. It's her birthday? 82, but I didn't tell you. She wants everybody to think she's 88. Why? Well, when you're young, you lie about your age because you can't accept the fact that you're getting old. But when you crack 70, all you want is for people to tell you, you don't look your age. <laughs> the pie's not going anywhere, Ro. Get your sweet ass in here. Could you stop screaming at me? He's always on me about my ass. Oh, I love this game. Happy birthday, Rose. 88 years. Can you believe it? 88? You barely look a day over 82. You told him. Let the boy give you a compliment. <laughs> Thank you. I have a lot to be thankful for. <clears throat> my health, my friends. I honestly don't know what I'd do without you. Well, you would carry on like the rest of us. I told you I'm not strong like you, Esther. If I knew what was coming, I don't know if I could put myself through it. It's not strength, Ro. We didn't sign up just for the good parts. The good comes with the bad. That's living. Oh, shit. I hate this goddamn game. My turn. And that is the secret to American cuisine. Craft. Max, did your goblin starter kit come with an oraculum gem? I have no idea what that means. Yushen, what does your mom make for dinner? Maybe I could try to make something ethnic. Uh, you got it. Hey, Sorry please. about that. Sorry. Here you go. This is for you. Thank you so much. Sorry again. Have a good night. Tomorrow, you're taking her. What? No, she, she, she doesn't even want to be here. Max, Yushen's family is very well off, okay? This is an adjustment so for her. What? Can you can you please show a little sympathy? 
I'm sorry, but you want me to feel bad for her because she's rich? No. Would it hurt you at all to try and help her get acclimated? I have plans tomorrow. Max, I'm asking you to be a friend. Mom, I'm supposed to go camping with Alex and Dan. Then you, Alex, Dan, and you, Shen, will have a great day tomorrow. This is a dictatorship. Well, no one said it was a democracy. Oh, real American Jan. Oh, you're calling me Jan now? Yeah, you look like a Jan to me. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Paul. Thanks for your help. How am I missing Greshnak? And for listening! Honey, did you move my character kit? What? Greshnak. He's a level what? three key master. He... He's, he's, he's the only goblin who can penetrate Eleanor's secret vault. I'm lost without him. It's right here in this front drawer. What is this game? to burst your bubble, but it's way too flimsy. Uh, don't act like you know what I'm doing. Well, it looks like you're making a walking stick. That's funny, because I'm making a <sighs> wand to close the portal. What portal? When do the alternate dimension Dan's dates keep crawling out of? I don't know. Maybe Tiffany's exceptionally warm-blooded, like a human polar bear. Please. Have more respect for the polar bears. Can you get a picture of us against this wall? That's a tree. Aren't you freezing? No, it's fur. Oh. It's nice. Christ. Oh, shit, girl. You're bleeding. I just... Oh. oh um, here, uh, I've got... Uh, here, give me your hand. Nope, that stings. I don't really want to see that. Muffin tits. What? Muffin tits? One second. Oh, it looks like we have a Boy Scout on our hands. How's that feel? Fine. Thank you. your friend, but that's got to get old. I don't know. I, I accepted a long time ago that Dan has what I don't. Oh, come on. You're not exactly wearing that because you're ugly. <laughs> it would be nice to know what you looked like under there. It's just a face. Have you ever been kissed? Almost. Once. I was in the first grade, and I met this girl, and we decided that we would be each other's first kiss. 
so I told her to close her eyes. But first graders, they just don't listen very well. I'm not going to make the same mistake as that girl. Technically, it'd be hard because you're blind. Does she even know how to play? I mean, oh, damn, she's good. How are you so good at this? What? Hey, are you on your way? Oh, um, my mom just declared a mandatory spring cleaning. So, I'm kind of a prisoner at the moment. Spring? It's freezing outside. I know. She doesn't understand the seasons, so we must all suffer. Oh, God. I didn't even know you could do that! Hold on one second. What? What, what, what did she say? Uh, <laughs> weirdness happening. You just text if you want to hang out later, okay? Yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Max, can you pause the game? I need help real quick with something small. Sure, Miss Richardson. Yes, this request is neither going to be small nor quick. I need you to take out the Christmas tree. Told you. Ah, oh, this tree's a bitch. You know what? Shut up. You did this. Ah, oh, shit. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I think I got a splinter. Ah. Okay. Well, come on. Let's go upstairs. I think my mom's got some tweezers. It hurts. Stop crying. All right, all set. So you're gonna change out the dressing in two to three days. I'm prescribing you an antibiotic ointment so you can put on every day. Do you have any questions? What are you doing later? You can take any of the counter pain medication, just make sure you're taking the proper dosage. And if the pain or swelling increases, you come in immediately. Otherwise, I'll see you in seven days. Wait, I get to see you again? For your follow up, yes. You know, she really doesn't seem like your type. Yeah? What do you know about my type? Mm. Brainless. <sighs> this is good gosh. She gave you the good stuff. Yeah? Yeah. Twinsies. <laughs> you didn't even get her number or anything. Dude, so. I don't understand. Why didn't you tell me? Mom, because I knew you'd freak out. Hey, Alex. Hey. Um. Uh, Christmas tree attack. That's <laughs> funny. Uh, I'm Dan. This is Max. They work with me at the home. They must spend an awful lot of time together. Mm, we work different shifts. Don't worry. It's okay. Okay. Well, it was good to see you. Feel better. Dude. What the hell? Let's get out of here. The forum online said they only manufacture 10,000 units of Dremlech. And he supposedly comes with detachable goblin armor, which you should be able to hear. Hey, Dad? I'm 
you and Long met at it. You guys know that you liked each other. I took your mother to dinner. I think it was our second date. We were walking to the car and she said, Paul, you love me, okay? And, and that's how I knew. You might think it's blatantly obvious that you like Alex, but there's a good chance she has no idea. Uh, I never said I liked Alex. Well, hypothetically, if you did. Communication goes a long way with women, Max, especially since they think men are incapable of doing it. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say that if you did decide to tell Alex how you feel, you might like what she has to say back. Like, what is in the black sex shop? I don't know. Uh, probably something really gross or really lame. Dildos for dogs. Kale-flavored condoms. Oh my god, your dad's nudes. Ugh. Alex, are we going to talk about yesterday? Oh, um, I just said you volunteered at the home because it's easier for my mom. Easier? Yeah, checkups are really triggering for her, and the idea of me having friends still feels like a death sentence. But she likes when I volunteer at the home because she thinks it's nice and safe and boring. You're on meds, though, so why is she so worried? Because that's how anxiety works. Sorry. It's fine. Don't tell me it's Friday. I know it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Yeah. What's all this? Oh, uh, we got rosemary pies, uh, but we weren't sure what flavor she liked best, so we just got her a slice of each one. What's wrong? Look who came to see you, Rose. Rose. I, I can't let her see me like this. Rosemary. Rosemary, it's me and Alex. It's not right. The way they have her hooked up to those machines. I know, it sucks. But they're what's keeping her alive. No. They're barely holding on to her. For what? Some stupid moral compass that says that's the way it has to be. That's the way it is. But what can we do about it? You can help her. Alex, you can't ask me that. You said it doesn't hurt. I don't think it hurts. It doesn't look like it does, but I, I, it's not like I can ask them after it happens. I know you think what happens with you is a curse. But those people who have seen your face will never have to know what it feels like to lose yourself slowly. 
your last memory of you withering away in a hospital bed. She shouldn't have to bargain away her dignity to die. She's miserable, and your father's taking over the house. Max, will you please explain to your mother that some of us have a stressful job to go to all week and shouldn't be villainized for treasuring a minuscule amount of free time? What does it look like I'm doing right now, Paul? This is a job. So how are things with Alex? I don't know. She's not texting me back. Well... How you perceive things may not be how Alex sees them. Okay, well, how are guys supposed to just psychically know what girls are thinking? It just, it makes, it makes no sense. If I knew the answer to that, my house wouldn't be overrun by goblins. I'm sorry I enjoy the few things that make me happy. So now I'm a villain. Max, will you please explain to your father the definition of a double standard? Oh, my God. This is so stupid. You just need to stop nagging him. And, Dad, you need to stop playing that game so much. I mean, it's not that complicated. Holy shit! She had a shift today. Just gotta make sure she's no longer with Craig. Shit, here she comes. Bonjour, gentlemen. Hi. Have you heard our specials today? No, but you seem pretty special. <laughs> Wait, don't we go to the same school? What? We should go to the spring fling together. Yeah? Yeah. <sighs> Pick me up at eight. Okay. Dude, what? You're coming. Wait, so we're not even needing? No, that's dumb. You're coming to the dance. No, I, what? I don't even go to your school. Look, it doesn't matter, dude. You're my wingman. Bring Alex. She's... 
She's not really talking to me, so. What? Give me this. Hey, Dad, give that oh, back. Come oh. here. You can't just take my phone and then. Oh. Hello. What'd she say? Hold on. Drop it. Is it not working? I just need to up my dosage. But your heart, your... Your heart's gotten bigger. I just don't understand why you didn't say anything to me. Why, so you could freak out, stop talking to me, and I go back to living in a padded cell? You didn't even give me a chance. And now, now I feel like I'm the reason this whole thing has gotten so bad. I'm sorry I've made it so bad for you. That's not what I'm saying, Alex. You just have to wrap your face every day, Max. I don't get a quick fix. This is the dumbest tissue box I've ever seen. My mom likes to hide little words of encouragement around the house. It's sweet. But her execution, it's... Well, it's shit. You could be my heart donor. Well, you could take me to that dance. I like twist, twist all night long. 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 I like twist. Oh, 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 Okay, so you're a French maid and I'm a... Oh. I'm a musical mutt? You're a horn dog. Oh. I am a very overdressed horn dog. Well, I assumed we were going to treat the spring fling as the proper joke that it is. Well, you look perfectly offensive. Thank you. Uh, so your mom's, your mom's cool with this? I mean, no. But, you know, it's not like she can say anything about it. It's bad for the heart. They upped your dosage, right? All good. Oh, uh, you Oh, what are you, uh, what are you wearing? Is it wrong?
should have worn more deodorant. <laughs> You're disgusting. <laughs> yeah, actually, slow dances give me really bad anxiety. Oh, what's anxiety? Okay, I see what you're doing. Blessings. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be sick. Get you some? No, 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 it's okay. I'll take it back. Oh, we ran out of sliders! Shit! Oh, hey, man. Hey, where's Alex? Oh, uh, she. Yo! Valencia! I look down now, Craig. This bag? Ew. Who even uses that word anymore? Me, I just... I just said it. I know, shit brains. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's... that's funny to you? I, yeah, I mean, it's not... not funny. Who the hell are you? <laughs> oh... shit. Napkin face? Hey, uh, how's it going with the ladies? I heard this guy really knows how to knock them dead. <laughs> what? Nothing. Oh, hey, man. No, come here. You're such a freaking asshole, Craig! Hey! Yo, you're <laughs> If I'd known you'd stay in the bathroom the whole night, I would have taken a different date. Should, should I get a nurse? Uh, they gave me this amazing button. I love morphine. Should, should you be mixing 
morphine with your medicine? It, what's that, what's that do to your heart? What's, what's stopping it from... Can I see your medicine? I, I want to see your meds. What? What is your medicine? This is, says it's for heartburn. You lied to me. You were gonna jump off a bridge, Max. I didn't. I didn't because jump. You wanted to. What would you have done if I hadn't been there? When I was four, they told me my life expectancy was 16. I'm 17 now, and I don't even get to enjoy it because I know I'll still never be able to go to college. I'll never have a family. And I accepted that I wouldn't have any milestones. I was wrong because then I got one. Because then I met you. And I'm sorry I pretended like there wouldn't be consequences. It was really selfish of me and I know that. I guess I just wanted to know what it would feel like to be something more than a burden. been thinking about it a lot, and I've thought of different scenarios, how long I was going to wait, how I should ask you. Max, I I'm not getting that. any better, I'm getting worse, and I can't that. put my mom through it anymore. Do you know what you're asking me? I mean, do you? Do you know what it's like to... To watch someone die? To have that image burned in your head over and over and over and... Do you know what that's like? I'm not doing that. How can you not give us any more information? Was he allowed to just leave on his own? He's a minor. I mean, isn't it required to call his parents before you release him? Yes, yes, of course I called him. He's not answering his phone. <sighs> Please don't tell me to calm down. My son is missing. Okay, is there a supervisor I can talk to? I need to talk to someone who can actually help me. Uh, I'm sorry, hang on. Max? Max?
can answer it. feel right saying goodbye with all those people yeah I get that they sent these instead of candles Valencia's favorite thing was to text you talked to Alex yet she's been trying to get a hold of you what are you like avoiding her Does it matter? Dude, don't be a dick. A dick? <laughs> you don't even know what you're talking about. Alex is sick, man. And you're avoiding her? I, I don't know what's going on with you, but that's super shitty. You know what's super shitty? Wearing this. Every day. And girls, girls never talk to you. And when you find the one that actually does, Look, I know that this sucks, but you being angry about it, that's just gonna cost you a chance to say goodbye. I finally stitched you like one of my French girls. <sighs> I'm really sorry I haven't been in here so much. I know this, this isn't about me. I'm just... Of shit like that with me.
here. I'm feeling anything. I don't know. It's not working. Your face. It's just. It's you. Have you ever thought about, if your life were a movie, what song they would use in the montage? This is for one of those moments where your life derails you. Your head and your heart can't keep up. Everything plays out like a blur. And all you hear is this.
How are you feeling today? On a scale of one to ten. Um, I think, uh, like a five. That's a wonderful improvement. Tell me, what's changed? Uh, you, you mean since Alex? Well, yes, but more so with you. Valencia's case finally settled. The coroner said she died of a serotonin overdose, or as the jury saw it, natural causes. So the judge dropped all of the charges, even for Craig. After the trial, the publicity from the case made national headlines. Most people didn't believe there could be a kid with a lethally attractive face. There were others who somehow knew or hoped that I could help them. The same way Alex hoped that I could help her. I always thought that my face only caused pain. What I learned was I could use it to take pain away. I still visit Esther. She sometimes asks where Alex is. It's harder for her to remember the big things. I tell her that Alex is busy suing Danielle Steele for plagiarism. That always makes her happy. The last thing Alex taught me was that those that see me for me don't find my face to be the most attractive part. Unconditional love is the immunity. And while I'll never live a life completely without wrappings, I can find moments with the ones that matter. Even my parents have gotten closer. They found a way to meet each other in the middle. So, what's next? I'm not sure. Maybe trying to live without these? It's a big step. Do you think that's something you can do? Yeah, I can try. <laughs>